Hello, my name is Lauren Fitzgerald, and this is the Thrive Funding Guidelines online webinar. Mission and vision of Metro Arts and Thrive. Thrive is a funding program designed to build, strengthen, and cultivate communities in Nashville and Davidson County by supporting artist-led projects that encourage artistic and cultural experiences, community investment, and neighborhood transformation. The Thrive program reflects Metro Arts' mission to drive an equitable and vibrant city through the arts. Thrive project requirements. Successful projects will align with Thrive's goals and objectives by promoting artistic excellence, impacting neighborhoods, actively engaging residents through community input in project planning, decision making, and art making. Applicants may apply for up to $9,500. Funds can be used for artist fees, project coordinator fees, and non-durable project program supplies. Funds cannot be used for capital improvements or equipment purchases, reduction of debts, food or beverage, activities or programs with religious content, political lobbying activities, fundraising events, purchase of property, performance space, facility rental, marketing, and promotion or durable program project supplies. Thrive project requirements. Partnerships with artists, organizations, business, businesses, and or neighborhood groups are required. Projects must be open to the public, accessible and welcoming to people of all cultural backgrounds, economic statuses, sexual orientations, gender identities, ages, and abilities. Thrive Project Requirements Continued. Applicants must obtain all permits, licenses, and permissions necessary for their project and comply with all applicable laws and regulations. Applicants may re be required to complete a background check when working with youth or in youth settings. Funding may be contingent upon successful completion of the background check. Thrive Project requirements continue. Applicants are eligible to apply for funds for one project per year, 12 month period. Thrive projects must be completed within the fiscal year for which they are funded. Fully designed artworks are not fundable. A community design process must inform some aspect of the art. Projects resulting in a public artwork require the approval of the Metro Arts Public Art Committee, in addition to the Metro Arts Commission. Public art projects are requ also require a plan for long-term maintenance and or removal of the artwork. Eligibility requirements. Eligibility, eligible individual artists that reside or primarily work in Davidson County. Artists may be asked to provide proof of residence. For the, purpose of the purposes of the Thrive Program, artists are defined as individuals or a group of artists who, who practice in the unique creation and public display or performance of visual arts, craft, sound and performance art, film and television, theater, dance, music or literary arts, and can demonstrate at least two years of exhibition, performance, or professional artistic history. Businesses and organizations that are located in Davidson County, organizations must have a professional artist identified to lead the project. Individuals who are 18 years of age. Eligibility requirements continued. Those artists who are not eligible. 
organizations that receive funding from any grant administered by Metro Arts. Projects being funded by any grant administered by Metro Arts. Artists who are under contract for public art commissions. Applicants or immediate family household members who are serving as an employee of Metro Nashville Davidson County or Metro Nashville Public Schools or who are serving as a member of the Metro Arts Board of Commissioners or Public Art Committee. Eligibility is determined at the discretion of Metro Arts. Thrive Proposal Scoring Criteria. Proposals will be scored based upon the following criteria. Artistic excellence, maximum five points. A professional artist is leading the project. Artists have strong artistic vision. Demonstration of artist-led community involvement. Artist is engaging the community in the design and creation of the artworks. Projects have a demonstrated commitment to the project and are named in the budget. The next criteria is community engagement and placemaking, maximum 10 points. A community residence and or neighborhood physical place is directly engaged and impacted by the project. Demonstrated knowledge and understanding of a community's need. Demonstration of how a community's need is informing the project. Demonstration of the neighborhood impact. Demonstration of committed community partners. Demonstration of how community partners are contributing to the success of the project. Please forgive my typo. Thrive Proposal Scoring Criteria Continued. Feasibility and Logistics. Maximum five points. A feasible timeline for the project. A feasible budget for the project. Demonstration of qualified project coordinators and or artists to lead the project. Thrive application process. Pre-application requirement. Applicants must view the online webinar, attend a Thrive workshop, schedule a meeting or phone consultation with Metro Arts staff prior to submitting application. Just a reminder, this is the Thrive online webinar. Thrive application process continue. Applica applications for funding must be completed on the Metro Arts submittable portal. A completed Thrive funding application will include artist support materials, visual arts up to five images, performing arts up to two minutes of video or audio material, file upload or YouTube or Vimeo links. Literary arts, up to two pages of material. MP3s, Word documents, JPEG, and PDF files are the only acceptable files on our submittable portal. The Thrive Funding Application link can be found on our website at www.artsnashville.org or you can email Metro Arts staff. The staff member managing this project is me, Lauren Fitzgerald. I am the Neighborhood and Artist Development Coordinator, and my email is lauren.fitzgerald at nashville.gov. That is spelled L-A-U-R-E-N dot F-I-T-Z-G-E-R-A-L-D at nashville.gov. Thrive application process continued. 
Thrive applicants must also submit an artist resume or CV two to three pages maximum, demonstrating artistic experience of at least two years of exhibition, performance, or professional history, and artist residential or studio address. One letter of recommendation. This should be a professional letter of recommendation. One letter of support. This should be from at least one project partner. Recommendation or support letters should not be from anyone proposing to be paid from Thrive Funds. Thrive application process. Continued. Budget form. The budget must include detail on all artists being paid, project coordination costs, supply costs, this budget form can also be found on our website and it is included in the Thrive application. You may upload a budget form or fill out the budget in the proposal application through our submittable platform. The same for our timeline. The timeline must include the community engagement process, art making, installation, any workshops, dates, duration, or quantity, performance dates, dates, duration, quantity, and or plan for removal of the artwork if required. The application and proposal must also include the public artwork information form. This is required for any project proposing a temporary or permanent public artwork. A completed public art form will include property owner's approval. This public artwork information form is only required for public artwork, either temporary or permanent. Incomplete proposals will not be considered for funding. Applications are reviewed by a staff panel consisting of one professional artist from the Nashville community. Final funding decisions are made by the Metro Arts Board of Commissioners at public monthly meetings. Meeting details are shared on the Nashville.gov calendar. Applicants are welcome to attend and may listen as staff present proposals and during commission deliberations. Applicants are not allowed to present to the commission. Only panel recommended proposals are presented to the commission. Projects are funded at the discretion of Metro Arts and the commission. Not all projects are funded. The funding decisions of Metro Arts are final. Projects are not always fully funded at 100%. Many projects are partially funded. Thrive application process continued. Applicants are notified via email of the status of their proposal. Staff or commission may request additional information from the applicant that must be submitted prior to the fulfillment of the first invoice. Applicants must complete their projects as outlined in their proposal unless the request to amend the project scope has been made in, the, in writing and is approved by Metro R staff. The application process continued. Upon being notified of funding approval, the applicant must submit a signed short vendor form and invoice in accordance to the following payment schedule. Invoice process graph. Percentage of award amount. The applicant may submit, will submit three invoices. One 40% invoice after the initial award letter, one 40% invoice 
after final project plans or design submission and sub staff approval, and the last 20% invoice after the project's closeout. Thrive application process continued. Checks are distributed via U.S. Postal Service within four to six weeks of invoice submission to address on the vendor form. Changes of address after invoice submission can cause substantial delays. Funding recipients agree to the following terms. Recipients will use funds to pay for artist fees, project coordination, and or supplies and materials that support the project as described in the proposal. Recipient will comply with all applicable, law, applicable laws and regulations. Recipient will obtain all permits, licenses, and permissions necessary for the project. Recipient will collect and report project data as de detailed and project closeout form. In all publicity, promotions, and or printed materials related to the project, the recipient will credit Metro Arts according to the credit and local usage guidelines that can be found on our website at www.artsnashville.org. A percentage of funded Thrive projects will be monitored by Metro Arts staff. Additional documentation, receipts, and or invoices may be requested. Thrive Project Closeout Report. This report can be find, found on our website as well at www.artsnashville.org. Within 30 days of project completion, recipient will submit a final project report, including the following items. Completed Metro Arts Project Closeout Report form, invoice for remaining balance of funds owed, one piece of promotional material showing required credit to Metro Arts, i.e. an email or poster, social media screenshot, etc. Provide a minimum of three high resolution 300 DPI dots per inch photos and or videos documenting the project. All projects must be closed out by June 15th. Maintaining good standing. Remaining in good standing with Metro Arts is very important. An awardee maintains good standing by meeting all requirements stated in the guidelines and awarded project proposals, following the logo and credit policy, submitting project information, documents, or reports on our hour before on or excuse the typo on or before the due date including revised budgets if applicable and any other information that metro staff metro art staff may request if an awardee fails to meet these requirements the awardee will be sent documentation in writing of what requirements have not been met and how to return to good standing if an awardee is not in good standing at the time of their next submitted application, the proposal will, submit, will receive a two-point deduction to the final score. Metro Arts Logo Usage Guidelines. All Thrive projects must adhere to Metro Arts Nashville Office of Art and Culture logo and usage guidelines located on our website or contact Metro Arts staff for assistance. Our website is www.artsnashville.org. Liability and indemnification. Metro Arts liability is limited to the amount funded. 
applicant agrees to identify and hold harmless Metro officers, agents, and employees from any claims, damages, or costs and attorney fees for injuries or damages arising in part or in whole from the negligent or intentional acts or omissions of the applicant, its officers, employees, and or agents in connection with the project, and any claims, damages, penalties, costs, and attorney fees arising from any failure of applicant, its officers, employees, and or agents to observe applicable laws, including but not limited to labor laws and minimum wage laws. Metro will not indemnify, indemnify defend, or hold harmless in any fashion the applicant from any claims arising from any failure, regardless of any language in any attachment or other document that the applicant may provide. Applicant shall pay Metro any expenses is incurred as a result of the applicant's failure, failure to fulfill any obligation in a professional and timely manner. Liability and indemnification continued. Selected applicants are required to credit Metro Arts according to the credit and local usage guidelines in all publicity, promotions, and or printed materials related to the project. Any final products from the project are the sole responsibility of the applicant. Metro is not responsible for installation, maintenance, or removal of a project. Thank you for your interest in bringing community arts engagements to Nashville with us. For further assistance, please contact Lauren Fitzgerald, Neighborhood and Artist Development Coordinator at lauren.fitzgerald at nashville.gov. The telephone number is 615-862-6736. Thank you so much from Metro Arts, Nashville Office of Art and Culture.